Calvert Ridley out for the year because he unfortunately made a little wager he shouldn't have, and you're not allowed to do that if you're a player. <clears throat> so we can talk about that a whole other time. But here we go. Drake London, he is super useful this year in redraft leagues in PPR situations because in the full PPR, I think you're going to get a huge target share for Drake London, and he's built for it. Got good hands, great route runner, fights for the football. You know, he does all of those things that you want. He's a complete wide receiver. The trouble is the offense is far from complete. The trouble is touchdowns could be limited. So when you start to look at standard leagues or even the half PPR, I think you knock him down a little bit of a peg here. But in redraft leagues, you know, maybe Desmond Ritter is that next QB. Takes the Atlanta Falcons into that next step at some point this season. I still think he's going to be a work in progress, although I was a big fan of his at Cincinnati. I don't think he gets enough credit for how good of a leader he can be. Um, I think there's some things he has to clean up in terms of the progressions and seeing all of that. But overall, if it's not Ritter and the Falcons are bad again, this upcoming draft class of quarterbacks is theoretically much better than last year's. So there's good long-term investment here in Drake London in keeper leagues and dynasty leagues this year if you haven't already had your rookie draft. However, in PPR formats, I still think Drake London can give you value. So that's a guy that you should be aware of. It's a guy you should be drafting, but you should also temper your expectations because there's a certain cap to the ceiling because, you know, when you're three and out a lot or your quarterback is on the floor, <laughs> like Matt Ryan was most of 2021, it's really hard to move the chains. 